Don't make a mistake and land in the wrong place in the state of California as you're trying to research where to retire here. So in this video, we're going to break down why I feel you should consider San Luis Obispo County as an option for your retirement here in California. So I'm going to go through the whole county. I'm going to give you some highlights of it in general and specific areas within the county to help you figure out what place here what location would work for you and your lifestyle. So it's going to be really fun. I've grown up here. You know, I've lived uh, in South County, which is by the beach areas since I was seven years old. I've loved it. Uh, my business partner, John, is in his 70s and he really loves it. He has not moved away. So we break down as, as much information for you to help you save some time and money as you're re researching the Central Coast. So we're going to get into it and we're going to get into it right now. All right, so why are, would we think San Luis Obispo County could be a good retirement location for you? Well, I'm gonna break it down for you. The first thing is that it's an overall great location because it's centrally located within the state of California. So if you're looking for a high quality lifestyle uh, in a welcoming community with beautiful surroundings, scenery, landscape, terrain, then this is the place for you. Okay, so the area is very well known for its welcoming community, great health care amenities for um, our residents and visitors. And San Luis Obispo, Slow County is known for its friendly communities and very well sought out because of our of our low crime rate. All right, so the county of San Luis Obispo is sprinkled about with its little charming towns. They're each very unique and different with its own characteristics that we will go, go to over here in a second. So the county's largest city is San Luis Obispo proper. So this is a home to the college town. We've got, it's got a very vibrant downtown area, um, a lot of culture. Uh, we've got a lot of restaurants there. So there's a lot that San Luis Obispo, the city of San Luis Obispo has to offer for our retirement community. Okay, so the Slow County offers other coastal communities like Pismo Beach, Morro Bay, Cayucas. We're going to go through those, but just know that you can be an active retired person because here you're going to have outdoors uh, activities available to you because of our terrain and the things that we're going to go over but it is still a very laid back atmosphere uh, here in slow county all throughout the community all throughout the county it's just about the perfect size it's about 300,000 in population and again it's right centrally located within the state of california anywhere you land you're going to be very close to a beach an easy commute anywhere from 15 minutes over to 45. So those are kind of the big attributes that the county offers. Okay, so we have four regions that I wanna kind of explain to you to help you understand what's available to you in Slow County and why I feel it's a very good option for you for retirement. I really feel it's one of the best places. So the first area is North County. So that's more of our Northern area. So North County encompasses Paso Robles, Atascadero, Templeton, San Miguel. So we've got the maps that we'll bring up here. Um, so you could see where that is located. And so you're gonna be close to what's called Lake Nacimiento in this area up in North County. So weather wise, um, it's going to be a little bit more of the seasonal things that you'll experience seasonal atmospheres that you'll get for California. So you will experience the seasons up in that area. It'll get a little bit chillier, but then it gets a lot warmer. It pools are very prevalent there. And also air conditioning is a must up there. There are a lot of wineries available to you up there and some restaurants that are of a higher caliber um, up in North County. It's growing like the winery uh, business and scenery 
scenery up there is just huge. <laughs> it's just huge, huge, huge up there. So then we make our way down to San Luis Obispo proper. So you're gonna, that's the biggest city that we have here. That's where the college is, Cal Poly. So you'll have that whole vibe of the Cal Poly scene, all the amenities for that. You know, we have a performing arts center there. That's a pretty big deal. Uh, and then you come down to South County and that's where you have, you know, Pismo Beach, Arroyo Grande, Grover Beach, Napomo and Oceano. So this is where you've got the big beaches um, and Avila Beach is also part of South County. And this is where you can drive your vehicle on the beach, which is a very unique thing for our area. Uh, for five bucks, you can drive your car onto the beach and that's something that you can do or you can buy a pass for the whole year. So that lifestyle is down in South County, more of the beach lifestyle and it's you know away from the college scene then we have our last region which is our scenic coast beaches so those are really um hugging our coastline here and that is um, over to the west side obviously we have the cayucas came, starting with cambria cayucas moro bay los osos and then you head to shell beach pismo beach along the coast there so you'll uh, utilize the pacific Coast Highway, Highway 1, which we talk about, it's iconic highway here in California. And so that's kind of the breakdown. There's four regions that you should consider depending on what you're looking for by the beach uh, or away from the beach. You're going to have easy access to make your way to any of these. So we're, we're going to talk a little bit more in detail about what these have to offer and just the county in general. So the number one thing to point out here for you as you're uh, exploring California and why Slow County could be the best place to actually land is that our healthcare is of high level and quality. So we do have our largest uh, facility is located in San Luis Obispo, Sierra Vista Regional Medical Center. So San Luis Obispo County has been a well sought out retirement area for various reasons. So we have a mild climate, you know, you get to enjoy over 300 days out of the year at about a 70 degree weather. Then you have um, wonderful, beautiful surroundings. The terrain is gorgeous, but you know, the whole lifestyle, the slow laid back lifestyle is very desirable for our retirement community. So my goal is to unpack the area for you and try to help you figure out what area in San Luis Obispo County could work for you. What I love about it is our county is not too big. It's not too small. It's about 300, 300,000 in population. And uh, we have about four regions that I wanted to break down for you uh, as you're exploring California. And I'm going to do my best to give you the best information about the county. This is a very pro San Luis Obispo video. As you know, on the channel, I try to talk to you a lot about the negative and the positive things about our area, because as much as I love it, I know it's not for everybody. And you're trying to discover where you want to move to your family, uh, if it's by yourself. But right now we're talking about our retirement community. So I think it's important to kind of give you all of the um, aspects of it, all the perspectives. And in this one, I'm really going to try to um, explain to you and give you all the little nuggets I can about why retirement here in Slow County could work for you. We do have quite a bit of a retirement community in Slow County. It is very well sought out primarily because of our climate and it is one of the most desirable Central Coast areas in California. So when, that's one of the other factors. We are centrally located in California. So that is a very desirable thing for people that are moving into the area, maybe have family in California, want it, but don't want to be in the high density areas. This is a good alternative to that. But why in particular would you want to do San Luis? So again, the climate, our weather, mild climate. If you're an active retiree, because of that climate, you're going to be able to have a very active lifestyle. There's a lot of hiking, biking, and water, you know, recreational water sports that are available to you and a very laid back area here. So the area is very well known for its small town charm. It's very welcoming community. And we have 
excellent healthcare facilities and a pretty low crime rate. So that's one of the main attractions to San Luis Obispo County. But I'm going to break it down even more. So we have all these little tiny, charming, not tiny, but just smaller town feel throughout the county. Each area has its own unique characteristic. San Luis Obispo proper being the biggest city in our county has a downtown vibe, has the college vibe, which brings in the culture and all all the activities and San Luis Obispo proper facilitates the well-known Thursday night farmers market that puts us on the map in the state of California. So overall, San Luis Obispo County offers a beautiful lifestyle with beautiful surroundings in the central coast of California. But I'm going to break down the areas for you to help you figure out which one would really check the boxes for you and your criteria because they are very special and very unique so we have four regions so i like to go from north county which is the northern uh, part of our area and that's what facilitates paso robles atascadero templeton san miguel and other creston other areas up there a little bit more rural feel paso robles is very well known for its wineries so paso robles has venues for concerts up there there's the mid-state fair that takes place uh, in paso robles and of course like i said the, the wineries are there and then if you're in north county you're going to be able to access our Lake Nacimiento. It is about 30 minutes from Paso Robles. So that's a whole nother area. We do have some lakes. So up in North County, just some things to take note is you're going to need some air conditioning. You definitely can have a pool and uh, you're going to feel more of the four seasons, if you will, in a mild state. So what I mean by that is you're going to feel the four seasons California style. <laughs> so it's not like heavy snow, the most rain, like we just got some rain, four inches. That, I mean, that was a lot for us. You know, you're going to feel the seasons up there, still beautiful weather, and you're going to feel those hot summers, hence the air conditioning. So that's North County, a little bit drier, you know, but a lot beautiful terrain as well. Horses are very prevalent, you know, more rural places to get a little bit more acreage, a lot, lot more land, very rural feel, more finger roads. So then you come on on down and we uh down the grade uh the cuesta grade and then you're going to hit san luis obispo the largest city that we have in our county so that again is going to have the college vibe a vibrant downtown shopping restaurants museums you know venues coming in a lot of the cultural and outdoor recreational activities so that is in san luis obispo proper and then you have down south county and that's more of our beach areas you have avila beach you're going to have uh, Pismo Beach, Grover Beach, Oceano, Royal Grande, very charming little town, more east, yet five minutes from the beach. Again, so one of our main attractions for our area is Pismo Beach, California. We've got a whole uh, new promenade down there and it's a completely revamped up here that you can take advantage of and really nice beach walks that you can take there. Avila Beach is another huge beach area and they have another community there to um, explore. Probably one of the best beach weathers that we have on the Central Coast is in Avila Beach. And just remember that if you go down farther to Grover Beach, Beach in Oceano, you are able to drive your vehicle on the beach. That's one of the exclusive things that we have here on the Central Coast. So you're able to do that today for five bucks. You buy a pass for the year. So that is one of the benefits too of living here in California and particularly here on the Central Coast. Living in San Luis Obispo County, you're going to have access to beach areas very easy, uh, 15 minutes from uh, slow San Luis, five minutes from the South County areas because they're all very intertwined as you'll see on the maps that we'll bring up. So you can see the, the proximity to the ocean on all of these. Then we have our uh, scenic coastal uh, areas. So those are gonna be alongside the Pacific Highway, Coast Highway 1 and a very iconic highway that just hugs alongside the um, ocean right there, you know, the road and, and then you've got the ocean. So it's quite um, dynamic and beautiful uh, to take that road, you know, very iconic again. So those be those areas are gonna be like Cayucas, Cambria, Morro Bay, Los Osos. And, you know, those are gonna be more with a coastal influence because you're gonna have the, the coast right there, the Pacific Ocean. And that's where you're gonna have marine life, you know, Los Sosos, Morro Bay, Morro Bay has the bay. And that's where you have a lot of this uh, birds there, 
uh, over 200 species are located. I have another video about Morro Bay. Los Osos has its majestic elfin forest. Then we have Montaña de Oro, you know, that's another place over there uh, that's in the Morro Bay area for hiking. And that's another scenic state park uh, area that you can take advantage of. So we've got a lot of different pockets of places. All of the terrain and the scenery are just super fantastic. You know, you just don't ever get bored of any of these, the sunsets, all the things uh, that take place here in San Luis Obispo uh, County on the daily, you know, for you to enjoy. So again, you've got the North County area, area, Paso Robles, all that. Then you come on down to San Luis Obispo. Then you have the beach areas and the Rio Grande Napomo. Then you have our scenic areas that are right there alongside the beach, more on, on the northern end. That is San Luis Obispo, again, because of the climate, the pristine scenery that you're gonna have at your fingertips, no matter where you land, depending on what your style of living is or what kind of temperatures you want. Getting away from the heat, uh, you're gonna be wanting to stay, you know, in the South County, San Luis, or the scenic coast if you like the the heat and the four seasons and you'll want to go up to north county so yeah that's kind of a breakdown of our areas we've got some footage for you that's hoping to kind of give you a feel for it and then we're going to dive right in and give you some more nuggets here why san luis obispo county is the best place for retirement in california so this is a pretty positive video like i said we like to give you all the information to help you decide, but really give it a shot and uh, hopefully this will help you out. All right, the first item that I wanna bring to your attention as you're exploring San Luis Obispo County and why it would be the best place for you to retire is that we do have very high quality health care available for you. So that's a big bonus here for California and for our area. So the, the number one, the largest hospital that we have is Sierra Vista Medical Regional Center, and that's in San Luis Obispo proper. It has a cancer center, it has a heart and vascular center, and a women's and children's center available there. So that is all encompassing. It's been there the longest. I have my three kids there. So, um, you know, it's been, and my oldest is 25. So it's, and it, was, it has been there long before that. So I believe my mom had us, no, my mom had a St. Mary and that was in Santa Maria. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so yes, that is located, uh, health care is located in San Luis Obispo for the biggest care center, biggest care uh, facility, hospital, if you will, for you with high caliber doctors and all those things. So that's a big deal. And that's uh, one of the biggest questions that I get asked from our retirement community coming into the area is what you know doctors do you have and what facilities do you have? So again, just like everywhere, you move into a new area, you have to establish your primary doctor as soon as possible. And you know that can take months. You know, what kind of coverage you have, what doctors you need to get lined up with. All of that is very manageable and very accessible here in Slow County. So that is some good news for you as you are exploring what area to land here in uh, California. All right, so other medical facilities are located in Templeton. That's a Twin Cities uh, Hospital. Then you have down in South County, Arroyo Grande, hospital and there is a cancer center there as well unfortunately my sister had to go there it was excellent service um, excellent care to our to their patients there so that is another um, facility that's available to you i had the three of my kids at sierra vista hospital it you know my oldest is 25 it's been there for a long time um, it has long history here so um, I'll definitely leave links to those for you to do your research. And just like anywhere else, you're gonna you know, have to establish your primary care doctor when you get into town, but you do have a high level of care here available to you. If you will have something that seriously comes down very specific, you will have to drive to uh, you know, either San Francisco or LA to get a more specific, if it's something very unique, you know, that that'll be an, an option for you. Not a bad drive, but those uh, other areas can facilitate, you know, a, a more specific situation. In addition to these hospitals, Slow County is, you know, homes, a number of clinics and other healthcare facilities that specialize in care 
in areas such as mental health, dentistry, and chiropractic. So just know that we have pharmacies and a well number of medical professionals like doctors, nurses, and other providers that can be specific to whatever it is you need and um, are available throughout the whole community. Also, on another note, we do have, you know, senior in-care living facilities. Um, more are definitely in the on the horizon for big master plans, but we do have that available. So if you're in retirement stage of your life, yet your folks are, you know, still around and that is a concern of yours, you know, so I can definitely refer you to um, our care person that can walk you through what um, opportunities are available for your folks or yourself for the future, you know? So that is definitely an option that we can um, provide for you and help you figure that that part of it. You know, people are living so much longer. Uh, you know, our, I just turned 50 and my girlfriend's uh, taking care of her. My longtime friend, high school friend is taking care of her dad right now. And you know, it's, it's one of those things that you really have to think about. So again, those are things that are available to you so if you've got to think about the folks you know if they live somewhere and you're gonna to have to move them over to he you here with you here then we can talk about that and um, give you some information about what can be available for you for the future but overall in general San Luis Obispo County has high quality medical care and I know that's very important as you're entering this new chapter in your life Okay, so the next uh, item that I'm going to talk about is one of my favorites because I just feel that we're very blessed to have pleasurable commutes here on in San Luis Obispo County on the Central Coast. So what I mean by that is as you're driving anywhere throughout the county, uh, the scenery is just fantastic. Um, you're not looking at high rise buildings. You're not looking at graffiti. You know, you are not too much in a high, busy, um, congested traffic. Yes, there are high peak times to be aware of in San Luis proper particularly and our beach areas, especially during the holidays. However, you know, Highway 101 is um, one of the main highways that you will definitely become familiar with. And we've got a lot of uh, footage that I'm trying to provide to you to get to know what the roads look like and what that feels like. And I think after you've, you know, had your career and maybe you lived in a den high dense area, high density area where you had to take commutes for 45 minutes one way uh, and back, you know, home 45 minutes at the end of the day, you know, that stress level, you know, can really take a toll on your body and your mental health. So, you know, some of these pictures that you'll see from Highway 101, some overlook the ocean when you're coming down uh, through Pismo. Um, if you're driving out to Avila Beach, it's very wooded and beautiful scenery out there. From San Luis, the roads in there, San Luis proper downtown, well, you know, you're gonna have more buildings because that's the downtown, but there's a lot of finger roads that uh, we have throughout the county. And if you're heading North County, okay, if you're heading North, County, you're going to go over what's called the Cuesta grade. And that also is pretty pleasurable. They've done a big expansion on that Cuesta grade. There is elevation on it and you do go up quite steeply on that. I do talk about that in our Paso Robles uh, videos. At the end of the day, when you look at these pictures that we're going to bring up, the aerials and all the things that you can see, it is it is quite stunning, you know, for you to perhaps get stuck in a little bit of traffic, you know, during the end of the workday from the nine to five um, commutes, you know, it's it's pretty manageable and it's pretty beautiful. So again, that to me is pretty amazing to, you know, know that your traffic times are going to be pleasurable when you're in a car. So the main roads are gonna be, so I have one road that I wanted to point out and that's Highway 41. And we have some footage of that and I have explaining to you what that looks like. So we'll drop that right now and show you what that looks like. So that would take you to Los Osos and Morro Bay. All right, and then the next one we have is Highway 1. You know, the uh, Pacific State Highway 1, the Pacific Coast Highway. Uh, that takes you all throughout California. It hugs that coastline um, over to the west, you know, right alongside the Pacific Ocean. Quite beautiful, quite stunning, nothing like it. So we have that as well for you to take drives 
uh, on the weekends, on the weekdays. If you're retired, you're gonna have so much to explore all of our roads. So again, I can't express enough how blessed I feel to be able to have this type of traffic, this type of infrastructure, even though it's a little bit older and not too modernized, it really um, facilitates a great uh, mental health as you are in your automobile getting from different locations within the county. All right, so real quick, just remember uh, that we are here to help you. Again, my name is Bernice. I'm a local real estate broker. I grew up here, raised my kids here, and I am still here trying to help you figure out where you want to land here on the Central Coast, California. I think it's wonderful. Uh, we grew up, like I said, I grew up here. I'm still here, but it's not for everybody. So I'm trying to give you as much information as try to help you save some time and money as you're researching California. California and perhaps the Central Coast itself. So, um, you know, we're getting calls from people just like you um, all the time. So feel free to reach out, call, text, email, day, evening, weekends. It doesn't matter because we have your back when you're moving to the Central Coast. So if you're finding any of this information of value, please give us a like. It helps other people just like you find this information. Leave us a comment. We love hearing from you and knowing what it is that you're looking for. Any questions, we'll definitely get back to you. And, you know, hit that bell so you don't miss any of our future videos and obviously subscribe and so that you can um, get informed as we are uh, giving you the information. More is coming. So we are looking forward to hearing from you soon. Okay, so the next item that I feel makes this a one of the best places to retire, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, is the scenery, our landscape, our terrain, our topography is fantastic. It's absolutely stunning. It's very diverse. We have a lot of different terrain available. So if you're an active retiree, you're gonna love it here. On top of our mild climate, um, you know, our 300 plus days that are about 70 degree weather, you are gonna absolutely have a fantastic time exploring the county and everything it has to offer. And that is why I love it so much. And that's why I think it's one of the prime areas in California to discover as it, you're retiring and entering this next chapter in your life. So we're gonna drop out as much footage as we can to help you understand what it is that we have here on the Central Coast. So the county spans at about 3,000 square miles and to the west, we're bordered by the Pacific Ocean. And to the east, we have the Santa Lucia Mountains. So there are seven peaks and they're called the Seven Sisters and they have, they range with elevation about 5,000 up to, I think the highest is like 58 feet tall. So this offers hiking and stunning views, nothing like it, so this is what is available here um, on the Central Coast in San Luis Obispo County. These peaks are there, and then we have the volcanic uh, Moro Rock and Moro Bay. That's, you know, another thing that you can go explore. A lot of sea life in that bay. There's over 200 uh, types of birds there. I have a whole nother video on that for Moro Bay. So we've got that scenery. You know, if you're an active retiree, well, you've got that. And if you're not active, that's okay. You're going to be able to lay on the beach. You can go on walks. You can just hang out and just enjoy the beautiful fresh air, the scenery, all the things that uh, the San Luis Obispo County has to offer. So even though we, uh, you know, need rain and we're, you know, have low succulent, um, low drought landscape, if you will, it's still very beautiful here and the scenery throughout with the beaches, the sunsets, uh, you know, all the piers that are available on the beaches at Cayucas, Avila Beach, and then Pismo Beach. And, you know, Los Osos has a lot of um, different areas too to discover within that area. So you've got so much here available to you to enjoy the, the California lifestyle. I think we have the best scenery again, because we don't have high buildings and, you know, uh, build big like LA stuff all over the place um, or city lifestyle. It's just much more laid back. And then on top of it with our scenery that we have oh, here. Yeah. Yeah, it's love just to retire here. Okay, another factor to just take note of for our county is that the western part of the county is pretty much characterized by a series of like coastal lowlands that are dotted with sandy beaches and rocky cliffs. 
So this, this area is a home to a number of popular tourist destinations. You know, this is where Pismo and Morro Bay are, as I just mentioned, which are, you know, the beautiful beaches and they have recreational opportunities. So the eastern part of the county is more mountainous with a number of peaks and valleys. So the area, like I said, was the Santa Lucia Mountains, which rise to elevations of over 5,000 feet. So this is where you can go hiking and back backpacking. The mountains are also uh, a home to a number of protected, you know, wilderness areas, including the Los Padres National Forest and the Silver Peak Wilderness. So overall in San Luis Obispo County, it offers like a diverse range of terrain with coastal lowlands and mountains and, um, you know, lots of landscape to explore throughout the county. And if you're an outdoor enthusiast, this is going to be a great place for you to explore recreational opportunities, including hiking, biking, hiking, biking, and water sports. All right, so one of the last factors I wanna uh, make you aware of as you're exploring Slow County for retirement, and if you wanna age like a fine wine and you want wine along with that, well, we are a huge wine region. So um, our soil is just versed with all the nutrients that we need to make very, very good wine. So we're very well known wine area. So Paso Robles, itself has over 400 wineries, tasting rooms, or wines and then tasting rooms that you can explore in North County and Paso Robles. So again, just remember that you're gonna have more heat there and the air conditioning situation in that area. And then, you know, coming down to our other uh, region in Arroyo Grande, you have the Edna Valley that is very well known for the P Pinot Noir. And then you've got um, other grapes that are available um, and we've just got a plethora of wine selection throughout the area, hands down. So the county is very well known for that. So no matter where you land, a wine uh, area is going to be available to you at your fingertips. And again, because of the soil and the nutrients in our area, we have a lot of ag land. And because of that, in addition to having amazing wine at your fingertips, again, I've talked to this about this many, many times, is you're gonna be able to enjoy a healthy lifestyle because we have great produce available to you anywhere you land within the county. So again, if lifestyle, health, you know, if this last chapter in your life, you know, you want to, you know, really uh, dial in on your health, then, you know, this is the one of the best places about 30% of the produce comes from our area to facilitate the United States. So that is a huge big deal. And that is going to be available to you at whatever time, whatever seasonal. And I think, you know, if you haven't heard, you know, health wise, if your intake is with what's in season, throughout the year, your body reacts better to all of that. Um, our air is very clean here because we don't have big production companies, um, industries uh, polluting the air. So, you know, just be aware of that. That's just one of the bonuses. So because of our soil, it brings us that fine wine and it brings you those vegetables. And also remember that the restaurants are local small business restaurants facilitate the vegetables that are in season. And we have a few like Ember and Arroyo Grande. In uh, Paso, you've got a lot of other places up there like Fish Gaucho, downtown Paso Robles, Morro Bay. That's like they fish the fish, they fish the fish out of the water. And then it's at the restaurant and on, or you go at the fish market and take it home. It's that fresh from Morro Bay. So it's a very, unique sweet spot here for your your healthy consciousness you know to really maximize those last years you know the better intake of food that you have your bones feel better you know all that good stuff so um, i just encourage you to research the area as you know john my business partner is in his 70s so he's definitely available to have a conversation with you um, i'm here you know i a lot of our clientele comes from that demographic so we are definitely definitely uh, loving to facilitate whatever we can 
to help you discover our area here because we just love it. And I just wanted to share some information for you as you're discovering uh, the Central Coast and trying to figure out if it's a great retirement uh, or a good retirement location for you here. So, you know, I, I feel like it is one of the best places in California. If we can answer anything else, obviously reach out. All right, friends. So the only way that we can help you find that sweet spot here on the Central Coast is you've got to reach out. You got to give us a call, text, email, day, evening, weekends. It does not matter because we have your back when you're moving to the Central Coast, California. So until the next video, We'll catch you later.